What's up, Cowboys Nation? Welcome back to Cowboys News TV, where we bring you the latest and greatest from our Dallas Cowboys. I'm Dave, and today, we're diving into a critical topic as we approach the final preseason game against the Los Angeles Chargers. The Cowboys are getting ready to make some tough roster decisions, and there are seven players who need to bring their A-game if they want to secure a spot on the 53-man roster. But before we get into that, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. We're on the road to 11,000 subscribers, and your support is crucial. Help us reach our goal by subscribing today. Let's start with Andrew Booth, Jr., a cornerback who's looking to make a fresh start with the Cowboys. Andrew Booth, Jr., a former second-round pick from Clemson, was acquired in a trade with the Minnesota Vikings after training camp began. He didn't live up to expectations in Minnesota, but since joining Dallas, Booth seems to have regained some of his confidence. However, the competition is fierce. With Trayvon Diggs, Darren Bland, Jordan Lewis, and rookie Kalen Carson already locking down spots, Booth is fighting with Eric Scott, Jr., and Keeman Hall for what could be the final one or two spots at cornerback. So, Cowboys Nation, what's your take on Andrew Booth, Jr.? Do you think he can outperform the competition and make the roster? Drop your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to vote in our poll about who you think should be the final cornerback to make the cut. Your input could help shape the conversation as we head into the final preseason game. Next up is Josh Ball, an offensive lineman who might have just saved his Cowboys career. Josh Ball was on the brink of being released until the Cowboys made a game-changing decision, moving him to guard. Originally a tackle from Marshall, Ball struggled during his rookie season, but the move inside has made all the difference. He's now the highest rated run blocker on the team after two preseason games, according to Pro Football Focus, and he's second only to Tyler Guyton in pass protection. However, with players like TJ Bass and Asim Richards also vying for a spot, Ball's future is far from secure. His versatility might be his saving grace, but he'll need another strong performance to ensure his place on the roster. What do you think, Cowboys fans? Does Josh Ball's versatility make him a must-keep player for the Cowboys? Or should the team consider other options? Let us know in the comments below and share your thoughts on how the offensive line should shape up this season. Now, let's talk about Willie Harvey, a linebacker with a lot to prove. Willie Harvey came into the NFL as an undrafted free agent out of Iowa State in 2019. He spent three seasons with the Cleveland Browns but saw limited action. His performance in the XFL with the St. Louis Battlehawks earned him another shot in the NFL, and the Cowboys picked him up as they looked to add depth at linebacker. While Harvey showed some promise in coverage against the Raiders, he also missed a couple of tackles, something he can't afford to do in this final audition. He's competing against the likes of Damian Wilson, and he needs a consistent showing in this last preseason game to make his case. Cowboys Nation, do you think Willie Harvey has what it takes to make the roster? Or should the Cowboys be looking elsewhere for linebacker depth? Cast your vote in our community poll and let's see where the majority stands on this crucial decision. Moving on, we have Kelvin Harmon, a wide receiver who's been turning heads. Kelvin Harmon has been one of the surprises of the preseason for the Cowboys. After spending time in the USFL and XFL, Harmon was brought in to add some depth to the receiving core. And he's made the most of his opportunity, catching all four of his targets for 56 yards. Harmon is competing in a crowded receiver room, and while the Cowboys have depth, they don't have a true number one behind C.D. Lamb. Harmon could force the coaching staff to keep him if he continues to perform well, but the pressure is on in this final game. What do you think, Cowboys fans? Has Kelvin Harmon done enough to earn a spot on the 53-man roster? Sound off in the comments and let us know who you think should be the final wide receivers to make the team. Now, let's talk about Viliami Fihoko, Jr., a defensive end who needs to step up. Viliami Fihoko, Jr. was a fourth-round pick in 2023, and while he made the 53-man roster as a rookie, he didn't see any regular season action. An injury late in the season landed him on injured reserve, and this preseason was supposed to be his chance to move up the depth chart. 
However, Fihoko has struggled in the first two preseason games, and his confidence seems to be wavering. With the departure of Dorrance Armstrong and Dante Fowler, Jr., and an injury to Sam Williams, Fihoko had an opportunity to secure a bigger role, but he hasn't capitalized on it yet. Saturday's game will be crucial for him. Cowboys Nation, do you think Viliami Fihoko, Jr. can turn it around in the final preseason game? Or is it time to consider other options on the edge? Drop your thoughts in the comments and let's discuss what the Cowboys should do at defensive end. Up next is Brevin Spanford, a tight end with a unique skill set. Brevin Spanford joined the Cowboys as an undrafted free agent, and he brings something different to the table compared to the other backup tight ends on the roster. At 6 foot 7 and 270 pounds, Spanford is a physical presence who can serve as an extra blocker in the running game. However, his performance in pass protection has been solid, but he's only been average in run blocking, and he has just two receptions for 13 yards in the preseason. Spanford needs to show more in this final game to convince the Cowboys he's worth keeping, especially with the competition he's facing. What do you think, Cowboys fans? Should Brevin Spanford make the team as a blocking tight end, or do you think the Cowboys should stick with more versatile players? Share your thoughts in the comments and let's get a conversation going about the tight end depth on this roster. Finally, we have Deuce Vaughn, a running back looking to make an impact. Deuce Vaughn missed the preseason opener, but he made up for it with an impressive showing against the Raiders. He carried the ball five times for 34 yards, averaging 6.8 yards per carry. Vaughn had a frustrating rookie season, and he's currently at the bottom of the running back depth chart, but his performance last week showed that he has the potential to contribute in 2024. The Cowboys are likely to use a committee approach at running back this season, and if Vaughn can continue to perform, he could carve out a role for himself. But first, he needs to make the roster. Cowboys Nation, do you think Deuce Vaughn deserves a spot on the team? Could he be a secret weapon in the Cowboys' backfield? Let us know in the comments and vote in our poll about whether Vaughn should make the final cut. As we wrap up, remember to subscribe to Cowboys News TV if you haven't already. We're so close to reaching our goal of 11,000 subscribers, and your subscription means the world to us. Plus, you'll stay updated with all the latest Cowboys news and analysis as we head into the regular season. Hit that notification bell so you never miss a video, and give this video a thumbs up if you found it informative. We've got a lot more content coming your way, including player breakdowns, game previews, and all the latest news as the Cowboys finalize their roster. Thank you for watching, Cowboys Nation! Keep the conversation going in the comments, and let's gear up for another exciting season of Cowboys football. Until next time, stay safe, stay strong, and go Cowboys!